turn now to News Nation correspondent Brian Enton, also in Oxford. Brian, you talked one on one with Michigan's Attorney General. Could the state file criminal charges in this case? It is possible. Her exact words to me, Aaron, were anything is possible. And she is going to be here tomorrow meeting with community leaders uh, and meeting with parents. She says she wants to get a read on them uh, on, on where this investigation should go. But I'll tell you, uh, talking with people all day long, first of all, there is some relief that the Crumleys, mom, dad, and son Ethan, are now all locked up together as a family in this jail behind me. By the way, first time ever we believe that an entire family has all been locked up together in Oakland County Jail. Uh, that's what's happening right now. So there is relief that they are finally uh, in jail. This is no longer a manhunt. But there's also still a lot of anger, and it's because of what you heard in Kelsey's story. It's because of what happened in the school. Teachers saw the warning signs. They sent Ethan Crumbly to the office. He had those drawings that he made, those disturbing drawings and notes. But for some reason, he was sent back to the classroom. I asked the attorney general whether or not the school officials could get into trouble. Could school officials who were in that building face criminal charges? Is that a possibility? Look, anything is possible, but, you know, I, I don't want to jump to any conclusions because, again, I have that information at this point. But that's a big part of the investigation. I mean, people want to make sure that these questions are answered. What happens if the Oxford Community School District says, thank you so much for your offer, but we're just going to hire our own security consultant and, and we're going to do it our way? Well, technically, I do have criminal jurisdiction in every county uh, in the state of Michigan. So I plan to meet with the parents uh, in the community, find out a little bit about what their feelings are, what their thoughts are, what questions they have that they'd like to see answered. And, you know, we, we might end up doing it irrespective, but, uh, you know, we're not at that point yet. So it'll be interesting to see the way this plays out at this point. She says she is giving them sort of the option. She reached out to the school district over the weekend, but she is the attorney general of the state of Michigan. Ultimately, she has the authority and you heard her there. Uh, it sounds like she likely will proceed with this independent investigation. Aaron. Yeah, Brian, one thing before you go is timing. Uh, in cases like this, there are so many unanswered questions. Any idea how long these investigations will take as parents are anxious for answers? Well, in terms of the school investigation, uh, Aaron, it's likely going to take quite some time. First of all, you've got to get the attorney general and all of her teams involved. Once they start investigating, it could take several months. Uh, but she has promised that when she is finished, she will make the entire investigation public. Brian Enton reporting for us. Brian, thank you. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.